hi everyone i wanted to do a really quick video um or a vlog on um just like an update on what's going on um sorry i'm on my phone right now so i'm gonna be a little shaky but um i wanted to get some good information out to you guys um as far as breastfeeding and increasing your milk supply so breastfeeding is going to be the best nutrition for your baby and to make sure that you have the best nutrition um you want to reference of course my previous video um on all the tips that you need for breastfeeding but at the same time you definitely want to make sure that um you are keeping a couple things in mind um specifically i wanted to talk about increasing your milk supply so increasing your milk supply some people may um try to make you think that you're not able to um, you can't increase decrease increase and go back and forth as far as your milk supply you definitely can um of course if you are trying for another baby, which um, a family we are trying to conceive, and I'll keep you guys updated as far as that journey as well, um, you don't want to increase, decrease, increase, decrease, um, because depending on your body, that will interfere with your trying to conceive, whether you have your period or you don't. Um, for me, I received, I got my period, I wanna say, probably four to five weeks um after i got home from the hospital so my period came back right away now if your period comes back right away that does not necessarily mean that you are fertile um for me i just felt my ovulation um so i can feel when i ovulate every month and i felt started feeling that I was ovulating last month. So it's been two months of me ovulating, baby girl, seven months. So I have been ovulating for just two months now. Um, we haven't specifically been trying the two months before, but um, within the next month or so, I think we are going to go ahead and try. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated as that. Um, but back to the information as far as breastfeeding, um, you absolutely can increase your milk supply. Um, what you want to do is actually pump every two to three hours for the first 24 to 48 hours straight. You don't want to take any breaks um, because what you're trying to do is actually trick your body into thinking that your baby needs more milk. This does not harm your body at all. The only thing it does is increase your milk supply. And this is liquid gold, guys. Like liquid gold so you want to do it um even if it's just temporary you want to have more milk that you can store in the freezer for just in case if you're sick um i know for me whenever i would be getting ready to get my period that whole week before um i literally would decrease about two ounces and that's a lot of milk because um if your baby literally eats the entire amount that's on one boob, um, you obviously can switch over, but my baby has kind of been conditioned to just feed from one side. So um, it's it's up to you and how you want to do it. But um, like I said, you are able to increase and decrease your milk supply. Um, you're gonna pump every two to three hours, um, whether your baby is hungry or not. Um, when baby is hungry, you're gonna put them on the boob. Um, if it's two hours that gone by and baby is not hungry again, you're gonna pump. Um, so you wanna keep that, that, keep the milk trying to come out of your boob for 24 to 48 hours. After that period of 24 to 48 hours, for me it was 24 hours. Some other people it's 48 hours. Some people it might be 72 hours to where their milk increases. Um, but after that period, you're going to notice that you're having more milk. Um, and to keep that up, you need to keep pumping. Um, the way to decrease your milk supply is by just allowing baby to um, nurse on one side. And after she's done nursing or he or she is done nursing, that's it. Don't pump. 
um, just let it go. And your body is going to start to notice that, okay, this is the amount of milk that the baby needs, plus or minus, and we're not gonna make any more milk because we know that the baby doesn't need it. Um, once you continue that for about three days, you'll notice that your breast milk will be decreased. Um, so, like I said, if you're trying to conceive, you don't want to do the increasing, decreasing. The best way to try to conceive, even if you're getting your period and you don't know if you're fertile, if you can't tell if you're ovulating, get some ovulation kits. Um, for me, like I said, I can tell that I'm ovulating and I just felt my ovulation uh, like two months ago. So, um, of course, some people may not be able to get their period for it's not it's normal to not get your period for up to 14 or 15 months um, after you have a baby and you decide to breastfeed um, breastfeeding is not just I mean it's it's kind of like a natural contraception but you can still get pregnant um, you can definitely still get pregnant so as far as increasing your milk supply um, I want to say some other tips would be drinking water and you can also reference my previous video um, as far as breastfeeding needs you want the water you absolutely need water um, I noticed that I was for some reason like on a sugar binge and breastfeeding will take all of your energy so you have to make sure you're drinking a lot of water to restore the breast milk um, and keep it going um, not drinking water and drinking like juices and stuff like that it's gonna only really put like sugar in your your system and it's gonna produce milk but it's not gonna produce as much as if you were to drink water um, so you definitely want to drink water um, I'm like switching back and forth because my hands are getting tired from holding the phone um, as far as increasing I think that might be it but um, it's it's very simple it's very simple some people are scared thinking that their baby will not get enough nourishment um but your body our bodies as women are naturally to be able to provide to our children our babies and you know when you're breastfeeding um as long as you're being honest um as far as you know what you and your baby needs um, and you're helping your body be honest, then you'll be able to produce it. Um, you don't need like lactation cookies and things like that. And you know, like what yogurts and lemonades, you don't need it. Um, years and years and decades and centuries ago, people didn't use that stuff. I have a 10 year old and I didn't need it when I was, you know, pregnant 10, 11 years ago. Um, I think that people feel as though you do. Um, yes, the lactation um, cookies and things help you have fatty milk, but if you keep record of what or when you have the fattest milk, you have no need to have like lactation cookies and stuff like that. Um, they provide more fat in your milk, but at the same time, your body tells the baby, your body will tell you what type of milk your baby will need and when you don't want to always produce fatty milk um because your baby may not need that um honestly when you have your four milk which is that very thin milk um that pumps out that looks almost clear that is going to help the brain development for your baby um that's very important you don't need the fat in that milk um, after a few moments and you're pumping for a while and your milk starts to get, um, it looks thicker, like actual milk, that is going to be your fatty milk. That milk is the milk that the baby also needs. And when the baby also needs that, that provides the weight management, that provides more nutrition um, that your baby needs. Um, so you don't need to take anything um, to try to produce this type of stuff. Also, another thing that I have noticed uh, um, out of tracking um, the milk that I produce is that between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., I have nothing but fatty milk. And 
when I have that fatty milk, I always make sure I pump it and I keep it for just in case. I store it in the, the fridge, uh, not the fridge, but the freezer. Um, so I have that backup fatty milk just in case. Um, and you, you kind of have to keep record of, you know, when you're producing fatty milks and things like that. Um, so I hope that this information was helpful. I'm going to try to keep filming videos and like I said, I'll keep you guys updated as far as our trying to conceive journey. Um, I'll start blogs or I'm sorry, vlogs, um, hopefully after the first of the year when everything, um, is more set in stone right now it's the holidays and, um, I'm just trying to keep everybody on the same page, keep my house intact, um, and hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more um, ideas as far as what I can film for you guys. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, definitely go ahead and put them in the comment section below. Um, any ideas as far as what you may want to see as far as videos and things like that, go ahead and put them in the comment section below as well. Um, thank you and happy holidays to everyone. Bye.